Time to face the music. James, how about I see Jin first? I'll calm the storm before you brief her. I'm sorry, is this Sergeant Phoenix being diplomatic? You can call it what you want, but we're at war, even if it doesn't feel like it yet. We all have to be on the same page. Yeah, well, I mean, if you think it'll help, then sure. Wish you'd have been this willing to listen back at that silo. Hey, it worked out, didn't it? Listen, James, word of advice. Stop trying to prove yourself. Just do the job. Dad, I took a necessary risk. Necessary means you have no other option. That wasn't necessary, and you know it. What was that about? What do you think? Same thing it's always about. Hey. You know it's just because he cares, right? Yeah, well, you know a hell of a lot more about him caring than I would. Okay, um... Yeah, um, we're just gonna go inside. Come on, Dave. That was a shitty thing to say. Yeah. yeah. I'm... I'm sorry. The thing is... You two are more alike than either of you want to admit. The data is in front of you, Damon. What? What? That's it? I thought the new satellite would automatically link to the old ones. He cannot find them. Without regular scheduling from telecommand, tracking accuracy degrades. <sighs> Thanks a lot, Iris. Your vocal sentiment does not match your words' literal meaning. Thus, you are not actually thanking Please stop me. talking. So, I still can't find the other Hammer of Dawn satellites. On the plus side, I accidentally invented an AI that understands sarcasm. Here, that data drive you wanted. Maybe it'll help. Find lost satellites? I doubt it. But I'll take a look. Wait, hang on. Did we do all that for nothing? Oh, it'll fire. But with only one working satellite up, it'll be tough to control the beam. Ah, uh, what's wrong with Dave? Dave had a few problems. What kind of problems? Uh, that kind. Oh, I know I'm gonna regret this. <sighs> Everyone, meet the new Jack. When the hell did you have time to build this? When did I have time to build this? This is what I do. I sit here making stuff you guys don't appreciate and inevitably break. Okay, so what's different about him? All new range of behaviors. Improved scanning, augmented combat and support modules. He's literally one of a kind. Mm -hmm. And... And he's... all yours. <clears throat> now, if you'll excuse me, I have a bazillion 40-year-old satellites to find. Damon, there are only 15 missing satellites. Thank you, Iris. More sarcasm to add to your growing library. Before we begin, Damon, the combat module you brilliantly designed is now ready. My use of brilliantly was intended to be sarcastic. Did I succeed? <sighs> Follow me. You'll want to equip this new module ASAP. It'll make Jack combat ready. Oh, I'm gonna dig this. It'll give Jack what I've been calling Flash. It blinds, stuns the enemy.
installed and equipped. So, how do we use it? I'll show you. Over here. Okay. Grab a weapon and get into cover. Then we'll start the test. Iris, activate Alpha 331. Certainly, Dale. So, say you've got a target that seems awfully comfortable behind cover. Jack's flash ability fixes that. Aim at the DB and activate. See what happens. Unlawful citizens acquired. Uh, reloading weapon. Test sequence complete. Huh. That could be useful. Now let's try it again with multiple targets. Iris, activate Alpha 332. Incoming, Damon. Jack's got to reroute power between flashes. Once he's recharged, hit him again. Assaulting. Jack, flash! Reload in his shield. Unit reloading. Nice work. Feel free to run it again if you want. Test sequence complete. No offense, JD, but uh, Jack's my new best friend. I'm very happy for you, for both of you. But now I need you to return your weapons to the weapons locker and get out of here. Are you trying to get rid of us? Oh, you noticed. Anyway, you can boost Jack's abilities if you find the right components. Before you go see Jin, stop by the armory. They might have one you can borrow. Oh, we will definitely be doing that. Good. Now I can get back to work. What Damon means to say is that he has more important things to do. Thank you, Iris. Bluntness is one of Iris's more commendable traits. I wonder where she gets that from. Later, Baird. Come on, guys. No worries. Do your thing. Come on! Hey, Foz. How's life in Jin's rear echelon treating you? Brilliant. But then we can't all be off on some secret mission. Oh, yeah? How'd you hear about that? This is an army, not a monastery. Yeah, okay. Well, look, we'll just leave you to the very important work, punching machines. And sparring. Hang on a second, shit stick. Shit stick? Del, theories? I don't know. Maybe a stick made out of shit? Or, or a stick used to stir up shit. All right, fuck off. How about we make this interesting? You and me, spar right now. And how exactly is beating you interesting? Yes or no? <laughs> you want in on this? Pretty sure what's actually being measured here is gonna leave me at a distinct disadvantage. Then again, maybe not. Hilarious. Are you in or not? Oh, I'm in. Come on, man, let's just grab a jack opponent and get out of here. No, this will be fun. <laughs> oh, son of a... How's that fun working out for you? Try it again, Foss. Come on. Here's the thing, Foss. The bottle's far with you, but not beat you. It's against their programming, but explain. Shit. Your false confidence. Quite a bit, actually. Want some advice, Phoenix? No, I'm good. Jin does love her golden voice, but never for very long. See, that was fun. Fuck off. All right, man.
It's not even noon yet. <laughs> <laughs> Never could get used to the field of view in those things. Ah, here's the component we're borrowing. Or stealing. I prefer borrowing. Indefinitely. Say, I'm loving the new Jack. Can't wait to test him out in the field. Try to contain your excitement. We still have to go to Jen's office. Yeah, Dad's probably had enough alone time with her by now. enough. You gotta see someone about these headaches. I will. I promise. After we talk to Jen. Let me be perfectly clear. When it comes to this weapon, I don't share your optimism. It's the first time anyone's accused me of optimism. Yes, well, I'll remind you your wife refused the idea of bringing the hammer back online. I would have thought you'd respect Anya's wishes. I'm gonna pretend you didn't say that, for both our sakes. Anya would have wanted you, you to- You don't get to talk about her. If that's what you think, I won't argue. You and that goddamn fertility program. A program that gave you your son. And mine. I honor Anya. I loved Anya. Oh. I don't care if you believe me. When my program was in its infancy, she came to me. She volunteered. Both times she volunteered. Seeing First Minister Stroud undergo treatment. Do you know how many children are alive today thanks to her? She should be buried here, you know, with the All Fathers. The people need her inspiration. Your inspiration was my wife. First Minister, Lieutenant Phoenix and his squad. Send them in. Ah, Lieutenant. I'm told you had a successful mission. First Minister, I can explain. By all means, explain when Damon Baird superseded me. Explain how launching a Hammer of Dawn satellite doesn't require my explicit approval. Same page, huh? Lieutenant, the Hammer of Dawn has taken more COG lives than most of the armies we've opposed. Your father knows this as well as anyone. It's not the weapons I don't trust, First Minister. It's the people who use them. The Hammer of Dawn will not be brought back online. Ah. That'll be a report on the evacuation of Settlement 2. Settlement 2 is being evacuated? Why? There's been activity in the nearby burial site. Chief Carmine, report. Oh, we're under attack! We need immediate help! Please, slow down. Send no. Mobilize the 4th Division. We'll take command of the reinforcement effort. Do it! Go! 